All right, well, this is uh, one of the tuners from Gibson Robot Tuners, and this is one of the six actual tuners. These are separate from the main brain part of it and battery part of it. So if we look here, our four contacts, and I assume this is like a grounding point or something like that, um, because there's also a contact on the back of the board. Now I don't have the board unfortunately, that's, that's gone now, but what I want to do in this video is see if I can take this apart. And see what's inside. As this began to fail, and this can't be more now than <clears throat> well, this would have come off a 2015 guitar based on the one that I saw it come out of. It's 2017, so this is like you know, two years old, two years old, and the other ones didn't feel much better, but. Fortunately, the owner has a completely spare set, so we were able to replace them. We were able to replace just this one broken tuner. All right. So there. There's one, see that? There's one screw I've taken out. I'm hoping this housing just slips right off. And then there's another screw right back down there. Okay, oh yeah, and it does. All right, so she's packed full of grease. Let's see if I can see any obvious. Oh, there it is. There's the broken tooth. See it already? There's the broken tooth right there. That's what's causing it to slip. Are there any more broken gears? Oh, there are too. Oh, there are numerous teeth broken. Boy, that really, that really pooed the bed. Hey, you really pooed the bed, you little. It's one of those times you wish you had Abe around. He could tell you what that was made out of. Hey, okay. if he could tell you it looks like brass to me. Those look like brass gears. They're definitely, it's definitely not plastic. Oh, there's another broken one. Jesus. Three broken teeth. That's three broken teeth on the gear. Yeah, I really pooed the bat. Big time. In this one spot. Tooth gone, tooth intact. Tooth gone, tooth intact. Tooth gone. And then everywhere else it seems fine, yeah, but she pooped out. She pooped out. Oh, there we go. Now you can really see it if you look at it from the top. Which gear is it? 
which gears gave up the ghost. Right there. <laughs> and so that would be skinny. That this would that would be spinning against. Let me bring you into the frame there. That would be sp spinning against this. So this in here. Oh no, something else in there is broken. Oh, this this crown is that a crown gear? Is that what they call this? That's slipping too. Yeah, that that crapped the bed too. Huh. I wonder what this is. Is this some kind of battery or capacitor? Oh, it is. 100%. It's a battery. What is that? Oh, no. It's the motor. Buh. Dummy. Dummy. It's a little micro motor. It's the little micro motor. Dummy. Come on out of there. There you go. Yeah, that's the little motor. It's the little motor. Yeah, but that little motor still works. That's pretty neat. Okay. Oh, oh, okay, look, 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 okay. Now we're seeing how this works. So the motor spins that gear down there at the bottom. Which spin these other gears. Oh, I wonder if the motor is what gave up the biscuit. No, but that's a plastic gear. Huh, that's pretty neat. Four little contacts that power the motor. That is absolutely some kind of nylon or plastic gear of some sort. But the rest of these appear to be some sort of like pot metal. They have that sort of, that look of pop metal. I wonder if there's some way to... Alright, so now that we've gotten our A part, I can't really see outside of taking this, this has to come off. Um, I'm guessing that's pressed on there. Okay, let's back this truck up. Okay, so this top gear came out, and it's definitely missing teeth there. Those are teeth from the top gear. That definitely looks like brass. This looks like, like powdered metal. Yeah, that's, that's definitely powdered metal. So it's like cheap, chintzy, all these gears, all the rest of these gears in here, they all totally look like powdered metal. pressed in there. I knew it. There we go. Oh, that whole thing came out. The whole shaft. Oh. Okay. So the whole sh so in order to get this in there, Both these shafts have to come out, which I 
There we go. So that's the tanner. That's the last gear. There we go. There is the complete innards of the uh, the complete exploded innards of the tuner, and we can see how it uh, we can see how we can see how it failed. So, based on my YouTube uh, education in metallurgy. <laughs> I'm going to hazard a guess that this is like absolutely some kind of powdered metal. Um, that looks like brass. This looks like it's some sort of nylon, reinforced fiber, you know, some kind of plastic. But there you go. It's an interesting, it's an interesting little system, I'll say that. But these apps, so this could have worked better. This system is, is, I would say, probably well engineered, but this would have worked better if they hadn't built it to a price. Like if these had all been quality, solid components, this is built, this is built to a price. Anyway, there you go. There's how good those Gibson robot tuners really are. Not very. And definitely I would not, if I paid $300 for that garbage, and it broke after a couple of years, I'd be pretty mad.